the ROG Ally sports the great AMD Z1 Extreme APU that plays so many games with great performance, but many titles, especially newer, harder to run games, benefit a ton from technology like AMD's FSR, RSR, and RIS on AMD devices. But we often see a lot of questions or misunderstanding around these AMD features. So we figured we would take a few minutes in this video and explain what each of these technologies do and when you should use them. So let's get right into it and talk about what each of these features do and when you should click them on. So first up is FSR or Fidelity FX Super Resolution. This is an in-game feature usually in your graphics settings. Simply go into the settings of any game with in-game FSR support and enable it with the desired performance setting. It will render your game at a lower resolution based on your selection like quality, bounce, performance, etc. and upscale it to the native display resolution. This boosts performance while working to maintain image quality the best possible. Now, FSR 1 is a spatial upscaler, and while it works well, this first generation of FSR isn't able to maintain as much image quality or performance boost in comparison to FSR 2, which uses temporal upscaling. This provides much more information for the upscaler, resulting in better image quality overall. Now we also have FSR 3 these days, and it can seem a little bit confusing, but really basically think of it this way. It's FSR 2 in its newest form combined with a new technology called fluid motion frames or frame generation. This is a feature that aims in general to double your frame rate, if not more sometimes, and it can come with its own set of issues like input latency and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's a great option that does work really well, and it's kind of in its infancy stages as well. This all combined makes up the great feature suite of FSR 3. So FSR is really all about the upscaling, frame generation, and image quality to help boost your game's performance on your ally. Next we have RSR, or Radeon Super Resolution. So what is RSR? Well, Radeon Super Resolution is a spatial upscaler that's similar to FSR 1, but this is at the AMD driver level and not an in-game feature. This is intended more for games that don't support FSR, not a replacement for it. The way this works is you go into the AMD software, you go to gaming and then graphics, and you activate RSR. This can also more easily be done in Army Crate SE for your ally, which is an awesome feature from ASUS. Simply open up Army Crate SE, go into settings, operating mode, GPU settings, and you can toggle it on and off from there. You can also add RSR to the command center for even easier access to toggle this on or off. Once RSR is on, open up the game you want to play, go into the game's graphics settings, and lower the in-game resolution to where you desire it. RSR will then upscale your native, upscale that to your native resolution, similar to how FSR works, giving you more performance out of the game. This is another great option to have at the driver level for those games that don't have FSR. All right, and our third thing here is RIS, or Radeon Image Sharpening. I do want to make mention of this because really I've seen some confusion in the past. Uh, Radeon Image Sharpening does, doesn't do any upscaling or performance enhancing. If anything, you'll lose just a slight bit of performance potentially when you use this. It's simply an image uh, sharpening filter. You can access this in AMD's software just like RSR in gaming and graphics. Once you turn it on there, you'll be able to slide the bar for the amount of sharpening that you want in the image of your game. Now, Radeon Image Sharpening isn't a replacement for FSR or RSR features, but it's more meant to work alongside upscalers and anti-aliasing features to clean up and sharpen the image. Some FSR and anti-aliasing can soften or blur images a bit, especially something like maybe TAA on the softening side or FSR1 on the blurry side. So using some RIS in there uh, at little cost to your performance can help bring some of that image quality back for you. So it's more meant to be used alongside of those things like anti-aliasing features, FSR, and RSR. So for a quick recap of when to use these features, typically when it comes to FSR and RSR, you almost always want to use in-game features over in-driver. So if a game has FSR, use that over RSR unless it's a unique situation. If your game has no in-game FSR options and you want to use RSR for your upscaling. If your game's a bit softer, blurry, uh, especially as we talked about with FSR1 and some of the anti-aliasing out there, you can turn on RIS for very little hit to your performance, adjust the sharpening to your liking, and get back some of that image quality. RIS, for any time that you want to clean up that image quality, is going to be a good option for you in general. AMD's got a great suite of features here, and their RIS works really well, especially alongside these other upscaling and AA options. 
Okay guys, a fairly simple video here explaining these AMD features, what they are, and when you should use them, how to click them on. Hopefully this was helpful for anyone who has struggled with these and what to use and when. I know it can seem confusing, especially if you're kind of a new person coming into the space or especially with the handhelds or the Ally. Uh, it's kind of good to get an idea of what this stuff is. AMD offers a lot of great features these days for boosting performance and image quality in games, and it's worth taking advantage of these, especially on the handhelds here, such as the ROG Ally. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. Hopefully you got something from it. We appreciate everyone coming to watch, and we'll see you in the next one.